Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to my channel. That is Deb Chanel's 48th World. Good evening, good afternoon, or probably good morning whenever you're viewing this video. Salutations of good greetings to you all. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for continuing to watch for continue to watch my videos on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to continue to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let's get me to that 10,000 range, okay? I know we can do it. We can do it. We can do it together like family, okay? But let's get into the story that Hollywood Life brought out on us, okay? To partake of, to dissect, and then regurgitate if we have to throw it back up, okay? But anyway, it's on, on popping with Cynthia Bailey and NeNe Leakes, okay? It's all from Hollywood Life. Don't give me a columnist or a journalist who broke the story out. They titled it, Cynthia Bailey Reveals Where She Stands with NeNe Leakes After Massive Fight on Season 11 of Real Housewives of Atlanta. We know that. We've been there, done that, and we're moving on with Season 12. But we're going to see what they give us. We're going to see what they give us in this article, okay? Well, I lied. It said it was from Jenna uh, Lemoncini. Lemoncini. Jenna. Okay? That was the title of her article, and she was the author of her article, okay, that she submitted uh, for Hollywood Life. She gives us a start of her um, article as fans of Real Housewives of Atlanta watched Cynthia Bailey and Nene Leake's friendship crumble last season. That was 11 they were speaking of. Now, as they wait for chapter 12, season 12 is how we view it, not chapter, okay? Cynthia tells us where the two stand today and how the relationship evolves in the coming season. Where do they stand? Fans have asked, well, fans have watched The Real Housewives of Atlanta's OG, Cynthia Bailey, and Nene Leakes go through countless ups and downs throughout the show's 11 seasons, okay? If you're all caught up, then you'll know that when we left off in uh, last season, in season 11, Cynthia and Nene's friendship, or lack thereof, was not in a good place whatsoever. And if I have my spiel and tell you my coffee about it, all right, while I'm drinking my coffee, I'm like, they don't have a relationship. Are you kidding me? Now you don't throw Mike Hill in the uh, mix. Child, please. They're going to be arch enemies, and he's going to be telling Cynthia how to handle Nene and her antics. Okay? Not in this article. That was just my biased opinion. Moving back to the article. It says, the last time you saw us on TV, we were in a really bad place. You don't say. I could say for the last seasons, at least 10 of them, you and Nene have always been in a bad place. Okay, you just failed to realize that, Cynthia. But going back to the article, it says, uh, Cynthia 52 told Hollywood Life exclusively in reference to her season 11 riff with Nene 51. Fans will recall that the two butt heads... On many occasions, one in particular, which occurred at the end of season 11, when Nene wasn't happy that Cynthia invited Kenya Moore to her signals party. Se season 12 was tough because we kind of stayed in that really bad place. Okay, well, yes, I think uh, so, Cynthia. You lied, you lied, you lied. Did you really have to give Nene heads up that uh, Kenya was coming to the party once you kind of conclusively knew that she was coming because of your arch, well, well, not your arch nemesis, but your okay buddy Candy uh, Burris had really said she's going to talk Miss Kenya Moore into coming in. And with her or you calling, talking about she might duck, she might duck, because she know you finna spill some tea and they on camera, and you're going to spill the beans. And that's pretty much what you did. All of us saw you as a lying nutcase, okay? A lying fool, if I must. All right. So, uh, going back, and, you know, back to this article. I ain't know Cynthia was one year older than Nene, because Nene showed a little older than Cynthia. Shoot. Okay, well, going back to the article, it says, um, Cynthia admitted of the upcoming season that they were in a bad place. They filmed still in a somewhat bad place, but it may be uh, some uh, forgiveness on the horizon, okay? That was from my take of just skimming through this article or trying to find my place back in the article before I got sidetracked. It says, uh, <clears throat> Cynthia admitted of the coming season, which premieres November 3rd at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Bravo. That's Sunday for me. Uh, or oh, it's not going to be aired on a Sunday. 
Oh, it says, nonetheless, despite their season 12 blues, Cynthia said they made some headway in a rocky relationship. I'm happy to say we're in a better place now. We're not in a great place. We're not in that perfect place, but we are in a way better place by the time we get to the end of season 12. She teased of her current relationship with Nene. Well, Cynthia, I would have to say she probably don't have nobody to take with. <laughs> Those who have eyes to see and ears to hear and have been watching Real Housewives of Atlanta for a very long time, uh, you have always uh, ha had Nene back when Nene didn't have your best interest. Now, from what I'm understanding, you seem to be doing a lot of undercover, under shaded stuff that hadn't come to light. Is it supposed to come to light? When we come back for season 12, that you are really a sneaky, underhanded, manipulative person. Will we see that of you? Or will we always see the non-naive, misplaced, misspoken Cynthia Bailey, who always kind of keep her um, uh, opinions to herself and try to ride that middle-based, neutral-based relationship with everybody? Come on, Cynthia. Are you going to be a mean girl? Or are you going to be a good girl? I don't know. I'm going to look forward to seeing how you react since you got Mike Hill in your corner. And he's supposed to be telling you and showing you the way of how to handle all your co-stars, especially Miss Nene Leakes. Okay, that's going to be interesting to watch. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, going back to the article, it said, um, although their friendship isn't in an ideal place, Cynthia went on to explain that she's gotten some peace of mind from the small progress they've made. I definitely have personal closure at this point. I'm involved and I feel conversations were had. She said, I feel I told my truth and either you accept it or you don't. But I'm good because there's nothing else I can do. Now, I feel that if my heel wasn't in your corner, in your life, <coughs> or <clears throat> another man wasn't in your life, you would fall prey to Nene and you would be kissing her butt as usual. But okay, maybe you have matured a little. I don't know because at 50... Two, I don't know if that's any much more maturing that you can do. You're either going to be a mature person or you're going to be lack thereof. And you're falling towards the latter center in my eyes. But hey, a new day can begin. You can start to warm up to me in a good positive way where you're taking a stronghold of yourself and thinking for yourself and not letting other entities come in to think for you. I have high hopes for you, Cynthia. Don't let me down, okay? We're moving on. He says, uh, as for what else fans can expect to see in the new season, uh, for starters, since you're living her best life, I said to you always say you're living your best life, even when you say after divorcing Peter, that you were going to find yourself, you were going to be into yourself, you're going to be uh, one with yourself. Then, what, six or seven months later, you talking about you want to get married, you found the man of your dreams, God has blessed you. So, I don't know what to think. I'm looking to the left, I'm looking to the right, and I'm looking back at you saying, no, <laughs> come again. How Lauren Hill said, come again. You ain't right with being. Come again. Okay, but anyway, moving back to the article, it says, I'm going to sum up season 12 with I'm in a really great place. I'm really happy. I have fun this season. She gushed, explaining when it was good, it was really good, and when it was a nightmare, it was a nightmare. She continued by teasing that fans would definitely see a new version of Cynthia in season 12. This is Cynthia's happy, and if you're not bringing me happiness, then you can go kiss my assery season. Okay, I'm not going for it like we're going to have fun or just leave me alone. Hollywood Life caught up with the newly engaged star at the Cynthia Bailey's ex gym. Jen Lux magazine cover release party at Sir in West Hollywood, which was hosted by Seagram's Escape on October 17th. Um, I'm super honored. Modeling is in my wheelhouse. She shared of her new cover, so it's good to still be in demand and be able to represent wow. such a fabulous magazine wow. like Jean Lux <sighs> magazine. Okay, and that's all they give us at Hollywood Life, but I think they gave us a substantial amount, understanding that ain't nothing changed with Cynthia and Nene. Nene's just playing her to have someone to film with and make her dollars. Okay, not her coins, but her dollars. 
All right, and of course, she's using Cynthia because Cynthia is still naive. Cynthia is still playing into Nene Talik's plans. Uh, and, you know, Nene is just a good manipulator, okay? You either can see it for what she's worth or you can just be a part of her storyline that she's going to make. Because Cynthia, she's always going to turn the other side once we get towards the end of season 12 or probably at the end when we go to reunion time. She's going to be dogging you out again. Yes, she is because that's what Nene do. She needs six months away from you all or four to six months away from you all. And she wants to play the victim and wants to sh uh, shade everybody because she got time to play with y'all. But when it's time for a season's to go filming out again, then she's running them up trying to find somebody trying to mend her fences because she needs to be on camera with somebody because this uh, isn't called the life of Nene. This is called the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Get into it. Okay, but that was my video. All right, I got another one to put out. Yes, I was off today handling some personal business here and there and then I had to come back and just you know, just lay flat all my videos that I've been trying to get out. But I thank you again for coming to my channel, for subscribing, for staying on my channel as a subscriber, looking for videos. I do love it when I put out um, polling posts. I want y'all to go over to my community uh, feed section, take those polls because you know I will announce them all on Sunday afternoon or morning whenever I get to it and y'all will have those results that you all got in and voted it wasn't them. I put up the uh questionnaire but you all came full force and answered on your own accord and what you felt about it which is an honest poll to me okay you're telling me what you feel about a situation and I'm understanding it and I'm dialoguing with you as we go along. Okay. Same as I do with my videos. So again, please, please, please continue to subscribe. I would like to meet uh, you all one day, but like I said, I got to have a reason to come out there. <laughs> okay. And I got to know that y'all down, down like four flat ties with me. So like I said, I wasn't teasing. I was very serious about, uh, hitting up Cynthia to try to get one of her event halls to host something. But, you know, again, it's going to be a small fee, you know, that you have to pay to come get in. But you never know what I'm going to do with that money. Hey, I might throw that money right back at you in prizes and um, gift cards when you attend the event. But I got to have that 10000 Got to have it. Got to have it. Got to have it. Got to have it. Because my thing is, if I'm going to do this as a supplemental income, why not go for the gusto? I really would like that little plaque of a YouTuber with a 100,000 subscribers. That is my uh, main goal, okay? That's my main goal, all right? But uh, that's why I want to get 10,000 is a good start. I am uh, definitely growing, and I appreciate you all. But if y'all could tell a little bit more people about me, take their phones. Hell, take all your friends' phones and plug my thing in for them, okay? And when they get bored or whatnot, they can always tune on. Tune on into me and my video channel, you know, when they get chances too, okay? But love you all in Jesus Christ, you know that. And always make up your mind, speak your mind, and be about your business, okay? That's all I have for you for this video. Uh, and come back and see another one on my channel, all right? Thank you. Bye-bye.